Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to another edition of the Teachers of India series. My name is Sham Sharma. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. So I put out a poll on Patreon last month where I asked you, my patrons, which teacher you would like me to make a video on next. And it was a very tight race and you guys voted for Sushrut. So here's today's video on Sushrut. I hope you enjoy. Sushrut was an ancient Indian physician known as the main author of the treatise Sushrut Samhita or the Compendium of Sushrut. Sushrut is widely considered in popular medicine as the father of surgery. The Sushrut Samhita is one of the most important surviving ancient treatises on medicine in the world and is considered a foundational text of Ayurveda, the ancient Indian medical science. The treatise addresses all aspects of general medicine, but Sushrut has been dubbed the father of surgery on account of the extraordinarily accurate and detailed accounts of surgery to be found in the work. The Sushrut Samhita is one of the most important medical treatises on surgery to survive in the ancient world. The Mahabharat lists Sushrut amongst the sons of Vishwamitra, the legendary sage. The same connection with Vishwamitra is also made in the Sushrut Samhita itself. It has been suggested that the original layer to the Sushrut Samhita was composed by Sushrut in the first millennium BCE and it consisted of five books and 120 chapters and it was redacted and expanded with the Uttar Tantra in the last layer of text in the first millennium in the common era bringing the text size to six books and 184 chapters. In Sushrut Samhita, Sushrut also presented the teachings of his guru, Divodas, which suggests that medical knowledge has been prevalent in India much before the time of Sushrut as well. Sushrut is said to have been a physician who divided his time between a school in Varanasi and another medical school in Takshashila. The Sushrut Samhita is considered to be the most advanced compilation of surgical practices of the ancient world. The Sushrut Samhita comprises not only the teaching regarding the plastic surgery but contains composite teachings of the surgery and all the allied branches including midwifery and making it a comprehensive treatise on the entire medical discipline. Sushrut believed that knowledge of both surgery and medicine are essential to constitute a good doctor who otherwise is like a bird with only one wing. The Sushrut Samhita is comprised of six books. The Sutrasthan, which discusses the origins of Ayurveda, the types of surgery, cauterization and surgical appliances. Nidanasthan, which talks about the nervous system, glandular system, skin and urinary diseases, Shariristhan, which talks about reproductive health and pregnancy, Chikitsasthan, which talks about hygiene and self-care, Kalpasthan, which talks about food and detection of poisonous food, and Uttara Tantra, which talks about various diseases and disorders. Sushrut was a fierce proponent of the principle that prevention is better than cure and he believed that a physician should invest effort to prevent diseases as much as curing diseases. According to Sushrut, an important means for prevention is physical exercise and hygienic practices which are the cornerstones of prevention in modern medical practice as well. Sushrut talks about peer reviewing and looking at many sources to gain the best information. In fact, Sushrut emphasized in his text that unless one possesses enough knowledge of relevant sister branches of learning, one cannot attain proficiency in one's own subject of study. According to Sushrut, anyone who wishes to acquire a thorough knowledge of anatomy needs to carefully observe and examine all of its parts. The Sushrut Samhita has become very famous for its approach and discussions of surgery or Shalya Tantra. It was one of the first in human history to suggest that a student of surgery should learn about the human body and its organs by dissecting a dead body. A student should practice on objects resembling the deceased or body part. Incision studies, for example, are recommended on a pushpapal or a squash, an alavu or a bottle gourd, a trapusha or a cucumber or leather bags filled with fluids and bladders of dead animals. His accomplishments did not just stop with regular surgery. Sushrut has been credited with developing the basic principles of plastic surgery, like the release of skin to cover defects, rotation of flaps and pedicle flaps with attention to proper wound apposition. The ancient text of Sushrut Samhita describes procedures like 
hemorrhoidectomy, amputations, plastic, rhinoplastic, ophthalmic, lithotomic, and obstetrical procedures. The Sushrut Samhita also mentions various methods including sliding graft, rotation graft, and pedicle graft. Reconstruction of a nose which has been cut off using a flap of skin from the cheek is also described. Labioplasty has also received attention in the Samhita. In fact, surgery in India had gained such fame that British physicians travelled to India to see rhinoplasty being performed by Indian methods. Reports on Indian rhinoplasty performed by a Kumhar Vaidya were published in Gentleman's Magazine in 1794. Joseph Constantine Carpew spent 20 years in India studying local plastic surgery methods. Methods. The Sushrut Samhita also describes more than 700 medicinal herbs. The description includes their taste, appearance and digestive effects to safety, efficacy, dosage and benefits. A new medical student under Sushrut was expected to study for at least 6 years which is very similar to the amount of time that a modern medical student studies as well. The Sushrut Samhita eventually made its way outside of Indian shores when it was translated to Arabic as Kitab Shah Shun Al Hindi which was also known as the Kitab e Susurud in Baghdad during the early 8th century from the Arab countries the Sushrut Samhita eventually made its way to Europe. It has been observed by many European scholars that there is little doubt that plastic surgery in Europe, which flourished in medieval Italy, is a direct descendant of classical Indian surgery. Sushrut was also known as a medical authority in Tibetan literature. So as we can see, the Sushrut Samhita and Sushrut himself had such a major impact in the development of the discipline of medicine and surgery. Sushrut has left an indelible mark on these disciplines and it is important for us to remember these great people from our civilization who have made such invaluable contributions to humankind. India has always been a hotbed of scientific discovery and scientific research and we are rediscovering that scientific temper in this modern age. It is important that we know about these great sages and these great scientists of the past of our civilization and it is also vital that we educate people around us about these great sages and about these great scientists as well. If you find this video useful, I would urge you to please share it with as many people as you think can learn from this. If you want to educate people around you of the great sages and the great scientists of our civilization, please share this video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Teachers of India series. I am going to be putting up another new poll on Patreon that you guys, my patrons, can vote on. So please keep an eye out for that. If you want to participate in that poll, you can become a patron of mine right now by going to the link down below in the description, clicking on it and supporting me with whatever amount you find comfortable. So I will be putting up a new poll this upcoming week, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to give this episode a thumbs up, give it a like, it helps me out, it helps my channel out. If you like what we do here on the Sham Sharma Show and you would like to subscribe to the show's channel, you can do so right down there or over here. I will see you for the next episode and until then, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you soon.